Okay, I am recording. We're going to start in three, two, one. Welcome back, Blood Bowl fans, to the Kringle Cup 2. That's right, the Kringle Cup is back and better than ever in a new league, and we're ready to play again. Isn't that right, Cole? Damn right. Darn tootin'. Uh, the Kringle Cup 2 is now a part of the Players on God League instead of the Rock and Every Elf Dumb. Uh, and it, uh, this year we have a lot of players from the last Kringle Cup, uh, the New Year New Cup, and a lot of new players new to this league and Blood Bowl. How exciting mm -hmm. is that, Cole? I am excited. We have 11 teams and one AI team that we use as a bye week. All right, let's get, let's, let's jump right into it. We're going to go in order from, uh, I guess, registry. Uh, starting with my team, Onion Future News. Uh, the Onion Future News is a team by me. Uh, and uh, we are a Norse team, a 12-man lineup. I'm bringing two runners, two Ulf Veriners, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight linemen. I have uh, no Apothecary. I have three rerolls and two Fan Factor. Cole, what can you tell us about the Norse teams? Well, the Norse team, right off the bat, nearly every player has block. Wow, that's big. Mm hmm. Is that it? So, so right off the bat, they're pretty good at being smashy. Yeah, for sure. But, however, they have an armor value of 7 on average. Yeah, that's true. So, despite the fact that they can hit hard, they can't be hit hard back. Mm. Interesting play style. Well, we're, uh, hopefully it goes good for me. We will see. Thank you. The next team in the list is the Jonestown Poison. This is a human team brought to you by Coach Davis, a veteran of the last uh, Kringle Cup and the New Year New Cup. Uh... He is bringing a 12-man lineup, one ogre, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four blitzers, a thrower, one, two, three, four, five linemen, and a catcher. He has two rerolls, no apothecary, and two cheerleaders. Cole, what can you tell us about the humans? Well, the humans, at the start, mm -hmm. they're pretty below average. Okay. However, give them a few levels, mm -hmm. and they can... They can uh, become a wide variety of different players. Okay, so what what do, what's the human specialty? What's the human play style? Well, they can go either way. Really? They can they can go for hitting? They can go for passing? Wow, jack of all trades. So what what are some cons? Why would you not pick a human team? Well, the cons being uh. Well, your linemen don't have any abilities at the start. Mm, yeah. And their stats, other than the ogre, is pretty average. Mm. That's true. Wow. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how uh, how successful he is and uh, and what what uh, direction he decides to take the team in. Mm hmm. Thanks, Cole. Next, the next uh, team we're going to be looking at is the. Promo code MOAN by Coach Andrew. They are a Kemri team. It's the first Kemri team we've seen. Uh, and promo code MOAN is bringing an 11-man lineup of four Tomb Guardians, two Blitz Raz, two Throw Raz, and three Skeletons. They have two rerolls. Uh, they're not allowed to have an Apothecary. They have one Fan Factor and one Cheerleader. Cole, what do you know about the Kemri? Well, I know that the Kemri, the entire lineup, has regenerate. Wow. So that makes up for the fact that they can't bring an apothecary. Yeah. Is that every player has a built-in apothecary. Yeah, wow. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. it, I also noticed that these Tomb Guardians all have five strength. Yeah, that makes them very powerful mm -hmm. when going in for the, for the smash. Oh, yeah, they look and like... Oh, go ahead, sorry. They have a whopping armor value of nine. 
Yeah. So it'll be hard to take them down. Yeah, but uh, they also all have uh, pretty low agility. How do you think that uh, affects the play style? Well, they're going to have to wade through the line if they want to break through it. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be interesting to see, especially since this is our first Camry team. Uh, never seen one before, and I'd like to see how they play. Uh, moving on is the... Other Actors of Hollywood, brought to you by Coach Connor, a veteran of the New Year New Cup, another Wood Elf team. Uh, Cole, what, uh, what can you tell us about the Wood Elves? Oh, wait, hold on, sorry. He's got no apothecary, no re-rolls, one coach assistant, and one cheerleader. He's got an 11-man lineup, one tree man, two throwers, two catchers, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three linemen. No, four line, three linemen. One, two, three, three linemen. Uh, war dancer, four, four linemen, damn it, they're out of order. <laughs> four linemen, a war dancer, and a catcher. Uh, what can you tell us about the wood elves and how they play? Well, you noted that they didn't have any rerolls. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason they probably don't have any rerolls is the fact that they are very uh, sufficient at what they do. And what they can do is pass the ball. That's true, just like any other elf team. Mm -hmm. So they're a very passing, pass heavy team. Uh, and uh, what, what what would be some cons to the wood elf team? Well, I think the cons would be the armor value of seven, making them pretty squishy. Yep. However, some of them do have dodge, and the war dancer in particular has block. Wow. So depending on the team, they could take a couple of hits. Wow. Okay. It'll be interesting to see. I know they did really well in the New Year New Cup. Uh, so we'll see if anybody has a counter to that this year. Uh, the next team is MCR's The Black Parade, brought to you by Coach Marlowe, a veteran of the Kriegel Cup and the New Year New Cup. He's bringing us another Lizard Man team. He has two rerolls, no apothecary, one coach assistant, one cheerleader. He has an 11 man lineup with one Croxagore, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Sauruses, uh, and four Skinks. Cole, what are some pros and cons about the Lizardmen? Well, the pros about the Lizardmen is the Skinks. Mm hmm. The Skinks are very fast. Oh, yeah. And they're the premier ball carrier for the Lizardmen team. Mm -hmm. However, they are the fragile aspect of the team. And if you're able to target down the Skinks, uh, scoring for the for the Lizardman team is down the drain. Wow. Okay. We'll see how, uh, see how it goes this year. Uh, see if anybody's found the counter which I think is just killing the skinks, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Easier said than done. Yes, Eight that's movement. for sure. That is for sure. Uh, next is the Candy Cane Boys. That's your team, Cole. Mm-hmm. The Candy Cane Boys brought to us by our dear friend, uh, Co Coach Cole, veteran of the Kringle Cup and the New Year New Cup, uh, is a Bretonian team. He has uh, one reroll, one and uh, he's bringing an apothecary. He has a 12-man lineup with uh, four blitzers, uh, four blockers, and four linemen. Cole, what can you tell us about the Bretonians? Why would you pick them, and why would others maybe not? Well, the Bretonians uh, are pretty unique with uh, their blockers and linemen starting off with Wrestle and Fend. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And their blitzers are also fairly strong units right out the start. Yeah, I can see that. So uh, why would some people maybe not pick the the Bretonians? Well, uh, um, some cons maybe. Some cons for the Bretonians is well, they've got several eggs and a few amount of baskets with their blitzers being only allowed four uh, and having four taking up half of the team gold oh yeah look at them they're mm -hmm. 110,000 per blitzer that that's expensive 
So if any of them get injured early on, it'll be pretty rough for the rest of the game, if not the series. Wow. All right. Well, uh, that'll be good to keep in mind. Good luck uh, to the Candy Cane Boys and you, Coach Cole. Mm -hmm. uh, next is Elf, 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 Elf. Or should I say it all as one? Elf, 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 Elf. Elf, 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 Elf. I like, okay. Uh, by Coach Daniel, uh, who is new to the tournament and new to the game. Uh, Coach Danny is uh, bringing an Elven Union team with an 11-man lineup. He has two blitzers. Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six linemen, uh, two catchers, and a thrower. Uh, he has no apothecary, but he does have three rerolls. Uh, Coach Cole, what can you tell us about the Elven Union? Well, the Elven Union is a bread and butter uh, passing team, much like all the other elves. Mm hmm, mm hmm. However, the Union is able to uh, probably uh, spec out more uh, widely than uh, some of the other elf teams. Okay, okay, okay. So they're not uh, not super pass heavy like the other elves. I mean, obviously they're they're pass heavy, but they can they can maybe hold their own uh, a few seasons on against some mm -hmm. some bashy teams okay i see i see uh and some cons maybe about the elven union well i think the cons being uh, uh their linemen start off with no uh bonus skills mm -hmm. yeah that's a pretty rough one yep Yep, that's it. All right, well, uh, good luck to Coach Danny. Uh, the next team we're going to look at is Porn Stars United, brought to us by Coach Doug. They are an Amazon team, 11-woman uh, lineup. They have one thrower, one catcher, four blitzers, four, five line women. Uh, they have an apothecary and four rerolls. What can you tell us about the Amazons? Well, the Amazons, um, every member of that 11-woman team uh, has dodged. Wow, that's big. Right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And then the Blitzers also have block, thus creating the holy trinity of block and dodge. Yes, wow. Making them very difficult to uh, attack and very powerful when they are attacking. Oh yeah, for sure. That uh, that will be annoying. I can already tell, especially with the four rerolls he's toting along and the apothecary. Uh, I I think the Porn Stars United are going to be a pretty formidable team. Mhm. Mm uh, I think I forgot to mention Coach Doug is a veteran of the New Year New Cup. Uh, and uh, we're excited to see how he's going to play. Never seen an Amazon team before. Uh, next is a new coach. Uh. This is Coach Herschel bringing us the Pretty in Pink. They're a Chaos Dwarf team. He has an 11-man lineup. Uh, he has uh, six Chaos Dwarf blockers, two Hobgoblins, a Minotaur, and two Bull Centaurs. He has no Apothecary, one Reroll, and two Cheerleaders. Cole, what can you tell us about the Chaos Dwarves? Well, the Chaos Dwarves, particularly the Dwarves, are very, uh, very strong mm -hmm. and very uh, powerful in the fighting game. Yeah, uh, the they all have block and tackle and thick skull, pretty big. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are what are uh, maybe some drawbacks here? Well, some drawbacks would probably have to be. Uh, the agility part of the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty rough. And the uh, the cost for uh, getting a new player. Oh, special. That isn't just a hobgoblin. Yeah, I mean, uh, his minotaur is one hundred fifty thousand, and his two bull centaurs are one hundred thirty thousand each. So uh, to see any of them get hurt would be uh, be a pretty big blow to the pretty in pink. 
Mm-hmm. Well, good luck to Coach Hirsch. Uh, next, we have the Giga Chads, brought to us by a new coach, Coach Alec, who is also bringing a Bretonian team. He also has a 12... Wait, did you have a 12-man lineup? Yeah, I think yeah. so. He also has a 12-man lineup. He's bringing uh, four blitzers, uh, three blockers, and uh, five linemen. Uh, he has no apothecary, two rerolls, and one fan factor. Um, not much more to say. Pretty average Bretonian team, uh, but I'm excited to see how he does. Uh, and uh, I'm, you know, because he's a new coach and everything. So uh, good luck. Uh, the next is our final team. This team, the Unholy Killers, is just the AI, and we're using them as a bye week. Uh, but our final team is the Jurassic Gigolos. Uh, a new coach, Coach Drew, is uh, bringing another lizard team, lizard men team, to the field. Uh, interestingly, he has an 11-man lineup with, count them, six skinks. That's uh, pretty crazy. That's pretty big, right, Cole? Mm-hmm. So his... Compared to the other lizard team, mm -hmm. with uh, four which skinks. only brought four skinks, this team is going for more, uh, more of a scoring type of uh, movement. Yeah, yeah. Their team. It uh, it's really affects his team bashing this though, considering now he's down to uh, four Sauruses and one Croxagore. So that's I mean that's five bashy teams out of an eleven man lineup. That's less than half uh, of his team is bashy. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays. Uh, he has no apothecary and three rerolls, uh, and I'm excited to see how it works. Well, that is the uh, that's Kringle Cup two. Uh, what are you thinking, Cole? Do you uh, who who are you expecting to shine early on in this tournament? Well, early on, I'm expecting the uh, possibly the Lizard Men teams. And mm -hmm. the Amazon and Wood Elves mm -hmm. to uh, be able to outmaneuver and score some early wins. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see how the new races, the Amazon and the Elven Union and the Kemri play. Uh, I've never seen any of them play before. So uh, I, I'm excited. I, I think this is going to be a really good tournament this year. We have... Uh, our first schedule is out uh, with Onion Future News getting the first buy. Uh, Jurassic Gigolos will play the Jonestown Poison. Uh, the Giga Chads will play against promo code Moan. The Pretty in Pink will play against the other actors of Hollywood. That's a match I want to see. Um, the Porn Stars United will play against MCR's The Black Parade. And Elf, 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 Elf will play against the Candy Cane Boys in the first round. We have... 11 rounds to go, fellas, and lots and lots and lots of Blood Bowl to play. Uh, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And uh, let's go Blood Bowl. Woo. Woo. Bye, everybody.